In this verse, the wives of Nabi Sallallahu are instructed that they should not speak to non-mahram men in a manner that raises temptation in the person spoken to. And not only should they be careful with the tone of the voice, but the words should also be carefully uh, chosen so the listener does not get the wrong impression and develops an ill thought about them. And similar to other places in the Qur'an, uh, when Nabi Sallallahu is directly addressed, the purpose is also to apply the same instruction, the command, to the rest of the ummah. And here when the wives of Nabi Sallallahu are addressed, all the women are indirectly addressed too. That they should be mindful in how they engage with non-mahram men where they have to have a conversation. This is where we should reflect in our day-to-day interactions and think about situations that there is interaction between men and women. As an example, um, in many office settings, there are meetings and similarly in colleges, schools, there is not a gender separation. And in all these places, it is very important for women to be careful in how they engage with uh, fellow students or colleagues. And they should really be focused on getting the task done at hand and without showing any kind of softness or gentleness in their voice so that it doesn't uh, elicit any wrong thought in the person spoken to.